Welcome back to Joyful Sundays. I'm very excited because I have a new guest today. It's Lukas Sons and I'm very sad to be not sitting um, next to him because he's in New York and I'm in Berlin. But I'm happy to interview him today on this beautiful Sunday. So, Lukas, how was your Sunday so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, it's only, what, like 1.25 right now. So just, you know, enjoy the morning. Uh, it's so beautiful in New York right now. Uh, and I'm so grateful that, <clears throat> you know, we're still allowed to go out. So just walked my dog, you know, mm -hmm. had a little workout on my rooftop and just, just relaxing. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just hoping to see some friends. I mean, one friend this afternoon, you know, <laughs> not more, but yeah. Very How about easy. You? Um, I so for me it's a little bit farther. I um, was bringing some cake to my grandparents, and I had a wonderful uh, vault life. We did um, jewelry um, life, which was a lot of fun. I did a bracelet, and um, Dana is sitting in Munich. I'm here in Berlin, so yeah, also an easy one, an easy one. And I did my first. Really smoothy for a glow skin. So, as you can see this now, this is the result. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What did you make? Did you make a bracelet? I did a bracelet and actually second one. So, one is for a friend of mine who just got a baby. And the other one is actually for my mom. Something cute, mm. something small. Nice. For Mother's Day. Yes, yeah, for Mother's Day, which is coming up. So, you know, be aware of it. Mm. <laughs> So <laughs> regarding, um, regarding um, to tell also a little bit more about the work you do, the art you're doing. So uh, you're now in New York since four years. So how, uh, what took you to New York? Yeah, so I'm originally from Paris uh, and I was you know, born and raised there. And I actually moved to New York six years ago now, so it's been it's been a while. Um, and I came originally to study, you know, so I was just one year at school here trying to get a bachelor. And I, you know, I didn't really think I was going to stay. It, was, it seemed just like an experience. And I wanted to get my bachelor, maybe do an internship and go home. And I ended up finding a job Um That was amazing where they really, you know, trusted me and, and gave me a lot of responsibilities and actually sponsored all my visas and my green card. So, so that's how I got to stay, you know. And so now, yeah, it's been six years here uh, um, working for a company for four years. And now and a year ago, I quit to start my own company. Um, so I founded my own brand called Korean that you know about because you've worn us several times. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, it's been it's been quite an adventure because I quit like over a year ago. You know, it took us almost a year to to get ready for the launch. Mm. We launched end of 2019, and it's been you know quite amazing. Since then, we got a lot of press, a lot of attention, and and then you know coronavirus happened. But you know we're you know pretty confident. So yeah, perfect. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a very big fan yeah. of your dresses. As you mentioned, um, we mm. had two events with Wald and I was wearing your gowns and I felt like a, a queen, a queen from Greece, a queen from Egypt, a queen from South America because it, it, the gowns, uh, they have a very high quality of silk and uh, multiple layers so you feel like you would be a king from the middle mid mid east century i don't know the correct word but you know very very special and i love how detailed you are and i ho love how you create a strong imagery and universe around your brand and i think also what is the most important is that it's a size inclusive brand so You are going from size zero to size 24 in American sizing. And this is so nice because um, all bodies are beautiful and it's different. Um, it's always, uh, normally it's always divided for women. Either way, you're 
standard size and then you have to buy into this brand and then you're a plus size or a stronger um, have a stronger body and then you have to buy in this brand and now you gave you gave us an option to actually have everything in one and um, I love how you um, you actually create uh, also a statement against fast fashion because it's uh, it's made in LA um, and uh, your pieces are so contemporary but also so timeless so I I want to have one which I can wear a very long time at least 20 years yeah. Yeah. right exactly <laughs> yeah you should take care of it for sure uh, but yeah I mean you know it's like over 60 percent of women in the U.S. are a size 16 and above you know and most designers and you know including designers that I worked with they go up to like a 10 a 12 and completely disregard, you know, a, a major, you know, part of the population that doesn't have access to these kind of things. And to, you know, as you said, like beautiful fabrics, you know, designer pieces, these kind of things. And the idea behind Koyan was to, you know, really bring these options, this aesthetic, this quality to to this these women that just didn't have so many options before. Um, but we wanted to be fully inclusive and also include women like you and petite women and you know sample size women whatever it is uh, uh, because we just wanted to eliminate this idea of categories mm. you know it just for us didn't make any sense to have brands for petite brands for regular brands for plus size mm. like you know every fashion should be like a party and you should have as many people included as mm. possible otherwise it's it's not fun you know it's not fun and mm. Uh, so that's the idea behind Koyan, you know, to just, we don't even want to use the terms like plus size or inclusive mm -hmm. eventually. It's just what it is. Yeah. It's, you know, and you can see it. And yeah. So, so yeah, so that, that's been quite exciting. And I think that's a, a big, big need, especially in the US right now. Yeah, I think so. And honestly, um, yeah. I think um, yeah. fashion is so much about emotions and about mm -hmm. how it makes you feel. And what do you want to underline with your outfits? What kind of mood? And I think to to dress a woman in silk is actually really the finest thing you can do, you know? So, um, yes, important for me is um, how do you keep motivating yourself at the moment? I mean, of course, we have a certain difficult situation for everyone. But how is it to how is it to move forward? It is. It's been a little difficult because you know, and I'm sure it's similar on your end too. Like the business has been very slow uh, mm -hmm. during the quarantine because you know, like who is going to invest in like, um, a gown right now? Mm -hmm. You know, like everything is postponed. Everything is cancelled. It's just like it's just very difficult to invest in something that you're going to wear to an event or to a special occasion because who knows when it's going to happen and and in what form you know so it's been really hard for us but we really use that time to one you know try to be creative mm -hmm. and think of what happens next you know i think it's a good time for everyone to rethink your business model like how are we going to work in the future when you know like this the season model that's been existing in fashion forever mm -hmm. is obviously going to change you know where like relationships with stores and department stores and everything is going to be completely different because of you know the budget being allocated and and, and the research for sustainability and the different the new calendar like you know really trying to think out of the box and and think of a way we can reinvent the way we make and sell mm -hmm. you know luxury products and that, mm -hmm. that was also you know the one of the main ideas behind koyan you know be it beyond uh, inclusivity mm -hmm. um so really using that time to be honest to not work that much but just like take a step back and mm -hmm. and think a little bit because especially in new york i mean it's sure it's the same in berlin it's so fast-paced that sometimes you just forget that sometimes mm -hmm. you have to mm -hmm. rethink things mm -hmm. and and take a step back and just stop working for a second mm -hmm. so i'm using that time for that and also using it to 
<clears throat> you know, connect with customers uh, on a more personal level because you're mm-hmm. at home and we want to bring the experience to them. So, you know, a lot of women that we that we service, like they they had like summer weddings that are being postponed and, you know, they, are, they still want to have fun and dress up and try things out. Mm-hmm to just look forward to these things and, and at least be positive about it. So we do this 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 try program and those like styling sessions, you mm-hmm. know, with, with mm-hmm. customers. So we send them product, we Skype with them, we talk to them, and with them we talk about the about the okay, uh, the dress code and all these things and, and that's been a really good way. But that's one activation among other things that we do to to connect with our people. You mm. know? That's very um, good actually. And yeah, not you know like i think no one is wants to be like sold something right now like mm-hmm. people want to talk about other things and they want to be inspired they want to know how you make your product what goes on behind the scenes like who what artists do you use you know in the mix to create mm-hmm. your content like mm-hmm. you know just communicate about these things more than like bye 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 you know mm-hmm. because people don't, don't want to hear that right now mm-hmm. i believe mm-hmm. um so yeah, that's what that's what I'm trying to do to you know stay stay positive and motivated. May I ask you how do you what do you do for yourself at the moment? Are you cooking a lot? Are you motivating yourself with going uh, for a walk with your new dog, or are you doing a lot of yoga or hit workouts? And so, what are you doing? In your yeah. Future? Lots of cooking, to be honest. Like, I completely lost <laughs> the chef. idea, you know, that I could, like, spend time at home and just, like, it's so silly, but even, like, making my own breakfast and spending, like, 30 minutes, like, eating before I start doing something, that's something I haven't done in five years. Yeah. You know? yeah. I would always be, like, out the door. I mean, you know, we live yeah. together. So, like, out the door, like, by 8 a.m. and, like, you know, and then grab something on the way and not really enjoying, like, proper moments that are so important and mm-hmm. I do spend a lot of time doing that <laughs> cooking and eating just like you know simple things mm-hmm. but that it really makes me happy and and yeah working out to uh yoga just whatever I can do from home you know mm. I have this like virtual yoga thing and workout thing on my phone that can do by myself and Very I good. go on the roof with my dog and she she just hangs out and like licks my face when I'm I'm trying to work out but, <laughs> um, but yeah that's what I try to do for myself very good very good yeah um I mean you also uh, said that you're at the moment take a step back trying to look at things trying to optimize things trying to create something mm. new and also be creative how future selling and how a future business and the fashion industry can look um mm. what is the vision you have actually for koyan for do you have a goal you want to do that you say okay i always wanted to have my own little boutique in new york or i would like to sell a netta porter or you want to just really focus on your e-commerce or Is there something you would like to reach? Because sometimes I think it's nice to kind of put it out there because then you have said it loud uh, Mm -hmm. to me and also to the viewers. And actually it can be very encouraging and uh, it's something nice to say, okay, I want to climb the Mount Everest. I might die, but I want to try, you know, and I think this is a nice thing because so many people, they don't even try. And I think you have the courage in your age to do so and that's why what would you like to do in the future well i mean what i see for korean you know i read and i said i just said that before like i see it as a as a platform like to a new way to like reinvent you know the way we like make and shop like luxury products because i just feel like the system it's been just this the same for too long you know without like being waste being wasteful um having a season model that doesn't make any sense uh having product that exclude a side of the population so you know like korean is kind of trying to like answer all these problems Mm -hmm. and the first one for me which was the most important and most you know yeah like important for me was size inclusivity uh and 
this is you know now this is done like we we won't make any sacrifice we are committed to it and uh this is korean will always be like this and we'll keep expanding the size the size range but then we do want to explore other things because in, there's so many other battles that you know need to be fought in in fashion mm-hmm. um and the next one is definitely sustainability and you know we couldn't do everything at once right off the bat but that's that's the, the next like major move you know mm-hmm. uh, beyond like producing only in the US like using like new types of fabrics um i'm looking to recycle cashmere you know any mm-hmm. anything that's still luxurious and has provide the same quality as what we've been providing so far um but sustainable so um, yeah we just yeah and you know considering the fact that we want to be sustainable and provide the best value to our customer mm-hmm. like we we definitely want to stick to our website mm-hmm. uh, mostly in terms of sales channel mm-hmm. just because you know that's the only way i mean you know with the margins is the only way you can offer a really good price for what it is you mm-hmm. know to your customers mm-hmm. um and also the experience because for us showing like the product on different body types having that quality of photography having a control on our branding and on mm-hmm. the image and the styling and everything that's so so important mm-hmm. and that's why I'd rather keep it you know under one roof and have a full control um and you know have the customers like trust us in that way mm-hmm. uh, than like going into you know selling yeah. to other people yeah so i can understand that i can because yeah. you also as a brand if you sometimes give it to stores you give them also something away from you like a certain yeah. kind of power as you said like how are they going to style your product how are they going to present your products in the store how do they decorate what kind of story are they tell specifically and i mean i had a store for uh, a very long time in uh, berlin i had a boutique store but what i did mm-hmm. but not everyone of course i, I was a very very good selling person and a very good a uh, stylist for my uh, I had like certain uh, customers which I uh, did private styling like all the time and all the time and it was interesting because actually um, I always was very interested like what kind of brand is it who is the mm-hmm. designer where do they produce what kind of materials do they use what is the idea behind the whole brand what is the vision Da-da-da. like I had I would say All together we had like maybe 60 brands in the store mm-hmm. with jewelry and 20 for clothes and then for jewelry and then some for shoes but I would say 60 and I could tell a whole evening about just what kind of designers we sell but of course as a, in a big store you don't have the possibilities to have that uh, most of the time i think we yeah. give, we give a lot of trainees for val when we sell to big department stores but um yeah i mean sometimes they didn't knew that we were fair trade label for example and mm. um of course you in on your website you have the power to tell your stra- story right away and direct to the customer and i think that's something nice and you do it um and very well also like how kind of um, that you really also photograph on three different uh, body types i think i never have seen something like this and i think of course it's a bigger price it's also anyway a bigger price to produce um your closing because you have to do one cut and then measure it to Uh, smaller sizes and then you have to do a second cut it's also like a second price pricing and then you have to measure it to um to uh stronger body types and i think that you invest all this this will pay out even though we have this pandemic at the moment hallelujah i know i have it in my stomach and in my yeah. heart i know it will pay off so please just just take all the energy you have in being patient which is also very hard for me because we are both the ones who are like da, 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 da. but um 
but yeah. it's also actually a good chance to um, create something for the future now, mm -hmm. which has uh, sustainability in think in the long term. And it's a, actually yeah. a chance that we we never have this in our lives again. <laughs> I swear, I know. Um, I know. I mean, it's hard, but at the same time, it's also very, very special and maybe even almost beautiful, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I agree. No, it's nice to like try to see just the, the, the positive you know, side of it, you know, trying to see it. I mean, because we're lucky enough, you know, to, I guess, still have revenue and, and be comfortable in our apartments and, you know, like I, I feel blessed for that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, trying to see it as like a little retreat almost where yeah. I just focus on myself and I think of other things yeah. I try to disconnect. It's just, it, it is nice. I mean, it helps me the day when I'm like feeling down, you know, just to see mm -hmm. it that way for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I mean, we, I had to leave New York before we actually, re we were able to have a dance together one night. But is there a song which always brighten up your mood in a way that you say, okay, if I hear this song by George Michael, I'm like, yeah. you know, whatever. But is there a song which is your happy song or is there a song uh, where you freak out on the dance floor? Um, they freak out. I guess I like, and I, because I, I'm thinking about it because I put it in the morning to like wake up and get like, you know, get going. I like just an old school, like, Robin, you know, like you, you know the singer Robin. Yeah, like the short blonde hair. Yeah, or like yeah. it depends, but yeah, or yeah, like yeah. red hair, like yeah. redhead usually. Yeah. yeah. Yes, um, I love it. Which song? Like, Wait, um, Every heartbeat. What's that? Is it, is it this one? Um, heartbeat. Um, there is that one. There is like I think the most famous one, I guess, would be uh, "Dancing on My Own." Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 what's, what's I, yours actually okay i just had like boom 500 really? memories because well i had a very sexy boyfriend at one time and we've been to a festival <laughs> still and do. Uh, uh, yes, mm. still another one but well <laughs> so um so it was a festival called berlin festival or something Many years ago, I would say, 10 years ago when I was under 20 and rock and roll. And so, so Robin played and there was the song. Um, uh, 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 heartbeat. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I, and yeah. I know I freaked out and I, I, I heard this. Um, I heard all those Robin lyrics for like a year, you know, and it's a really, mm. as you said, it gives you such a energy and uh, I, I dance right away. I could have a why now with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so positive. It's kind of timeless, you know, I feel like I, yeah, I, don't know. Totally. I, feel like I had not listened to her for a few years before she yeah. released the new album and then I listened again. And I was like, it's yeah, it's yeah. It's so funny so that you mentioned. You know what? Sometimes mm. it is when you when someone uh, uh, highlights a song which he loves or makes uh, the person happy or feel good. You know, and uh, I Google it afterwards and I just enjoy it so much. So afterwards, yeah. when I will cut this video, I will for sure listen to Robin. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and think of you while like yeah. being crazy about cutting the video yeah. um one of uh or actually not one of the but the last question i wanted to ask you because it's also mm. for me uh a very honest and special um question is actually what brings you joy you mean right now during the quarantine or like oh no now? you can't say you can't say everything. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be a quarter. It can be right now. It can be in the future. It yeah. can be. It can be. Could be in the past. Very open to you. I mean, and someone really said peanut butter and jelly I mean, sandwich. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah. There are two things, and I'm thinking about it because there, there are things I miss. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I love. I love nature. You know, mm -hmm. I just love like. 
being in the woods, being on the beach, being on a hike somewhere. And just, I miss that so much, you know, mm -hmm. like I've been stuck in Brooklyn for like over a month now. So it's just like one thing that brings me so much joy. You just like see just a beautiful landscape being somewhere like disconnected. Like it's just my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. um, even when I go on vacation, I don't really go to like cities or like big cities. I mean, sometimes, but not so much. And I'd rather like go to places like this, you know. Uh, so that's one thing. And two, I just love going to the restaurant, you know. <laughs> I, just, I just love. <laughs> I would I not mean, have thought that you said this, but actually I love this. Oh, yeah, I would, I like I would living miss. Living in New York, you know me. Yeah. I love like going out, you know, just like having s amazing food, a glass of wine and like a good restaurant. And mm. I miss that so much. It's just like, it's like the combination, I think, of being in like a beautiful place, being served, you know, oh, and it's been a while since someone like served me. Don't have to do the me. dishes. Don't <laughs> and, have to do the dishes and stuff. And just like, yeah, I just miss that so much. Just, yeah, I love, you know, as like a night out, I love that much more even than going to the club or something. It's just mm -hmm. like, um, so that's that. And I guess, I guess I... I love, you know me, I love biking and yeah. I, that's, but that's something I can still do, which I'm so thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, like I, I cross the bridge sometime and I go into the city. It is so crazy to be like in Soho on Broadway and I'm, I, I'm empty. like by myself, you know, empty. it's like, I feel like when in life again, I'm going to be able to bike in New York city and be alone, you know, crazy. on the streets. It's so crazy because mm -hmm. all the tourist areas are like, empty like completely empty so i do that <laughs> yeah so also i mean yeah. i love bike biking because it gives you such a feeling of freedom and a yeah. feeling of um a very powerful way of just like cutting the wind you know today yeah exactly i was also yeah. riding my bike and i oh it's so nice because you know walking and running that's one thing but if you have wheels under your feet it's a oh It's yeah, like a it's the best. heart yeah. opening thing. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand. And I also miss to go to a restaurant. I actually donated here to the restaurant, which is in my um, street. They are um, mm -hmm. French and they have the best salad with um, goat cheese and the best yeah. red wine. And I paid like a vulture that. When they're going to reopen, I'm going to invite my uh, boyfriend for a little dinner. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> And honestly, this is, um, I love cooking. I don't like cooking for myself. I would rather cook for you uh, <laughs> and Sarah, <laughs> of course, or anyone else. But yeah, I think to go outside and the next mm. day or the, the same even not do the dishes. Yeah. Well, but this will yeah. come at one point and um, I'm also happy when I can return to New York and to see you and have a glass of wine and uh, actually yeah, cherish life too. again. But you know what? Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy that we had the possibility today to talk and to uh, highlight you and also your work and I hopefully we can push the sales. I will put all the infos from you in the um, description of the video and I will promote it as most as I can and I will promote you as most as I can and um, hopefully I have uh, soon um, a possibility to wear one of your dresses yeah. again I'm I saving I'm events, saving like, already yeah <laughs> <laughs> amazing yeah thank you so cool. much Lucas for yeah, your time thank you it was so nice to talk to you today And I wish you a great Sunday and I'm going to bed soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go have like lunch right now. <laughs> awesome. It was so nice to see you. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, a lot of health and greetings to um, New York, to you. And again, thank you for your time and um, for that I had also the possibility to interview on your free Sunday. Thank you so much. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. You too.